Hello YouTube and welcome to another MongoDB tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to import and export data into a MongoDB database. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, let's actually make sure that our MongoDB instance is running. So here I'm running it as Docker container. Okay. So right now I have no Docker container, but I can run it like this. I'm using an old version, but that doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Now our instance is running at localhost and the map to the default actually ports. Okay, so in order to export data from MongoDB database, there is a utility called Mongo export. Mongo export so with the help with this utility we can export data so the usual way we use to export data is a JSON file okay so here I have to specify the database and also the collection and output file so first of all let me log on to the shell and see the databases that we have so actually by default we are in the DB called tests. So let me show the collections that exist in this uh, database. So here you can see I have restaurants and students data or collections. So first of all, let me show you just one record or document from this restaurants collection and try to export the whole collection actually, okay? So as you can see here, we have a bunch of fields. So the usual one is the object ID field. We have the address, the street code, and zip code, the borough, the cuisine, and the grades. So let's try, first of all, to export this collection, restaurant's collection, into a JSON file. So remember, the restaurant collections exist in database called tests okay so first of all let me log out from the shell with control T so as I told you I'll be using Mongo export utility in order to export the restaurant collection so first of all I have to specify with option minus D the database which in this case is test then the collection minus C so C for collection so here I'm exporting the restaurant's collection. The restaurant's collection, yes. Then I have here to specify the output file with option minus O. So for example, let's call it resto.json. Okay. So this is a simple command that we can use in order to export the restaurant's from the test database. So let's execute this command as seed output. So here we have exported zero records. So actually we've done a mistake because we have no export. Actually I mistyped the restaurants because it's not uh, the correct spelling. Because if you look on to Mongo shell, you can see when I execute show collections that the restaurants with the A, not the E. Okay, so let's log on once again and execute the same command and make sure that we write restaurants the correct way. So I wrote it like this. So now you can see it's exporting the restaurants database. So actually, here. The number of exports is 25,000 records has been exported. So if we do list in the same directory with the JSON that file, you can see that I have here a resto.json file that was created. Okay. So we have actually successfully exported the restaurant collection, but into a JSON file. But let's say that we want actually to export it to CSV file this time and not a JSON file because CSV files are more 
reliable or more uh, exportable or more used in the PC world or Mac world. Okay, so in order to do that, it's pretty simple, but you have to make sure the field that you want to export. So here, if I log on to the Mongo shell, if I show, for example, here the restaurants collection, let's show that's just the first record. And here you can see the fields, the number of fields that we have. So we have address, which has two nested fields. It has building and coordinates. We have also street and zip code. We have the borough or the area. We have the cuisine and the grade. So let's say that we want just to export the, for example, the address or the street with the zip code. So remember the zip code and streets are nested into the address field. Okay. And here we have a separate field for the grades and the cuisine. So let's say that we want to export just four fields. So we'll try to export the street zip code, the borough and the cuisine. So I will show you how to do that in CSV file. Okay. So we'll use the same command actually, but with some minor changes. So for the output file, it's in this time resto.csv file. Okay. But here we have also to mention uh, that we want to export CSV file with this three dashes CSV. Okay. And we have also to provide the fields that we want to export with the minus V option. So as I told you, I want the street, but as it's nested into the address field, I will use the dot. Okay. So street dot street or actually address that street, then comma. I want also the zip code. It's also a nested field in into the address field. Okay. Then comma, then the borrow, which is a separated field. And finally the cuisine. So there are the four fields that we want to export. So remember to add option dash 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 CSV actually just two dashes, not three. So dash dash CSV and the output file is resto. But this time not dash JSON but dot CSV. And we add also the field with the minus F. And we use the same database and same collection. So let's export that. Here we go. Here you can see we have exported 25,359 records. If we do a list of all the CSV files, you can see that we have actually our file which is resto.csv. So let's try to open it using, for example, LibreOffice. So here is the directory where the file has been saved. So this is the resto.csv file. And let's make sure that we have our four fields. And as you can see, we have indeed four fields. So we have here the address that street, the address that zip code, the borough and the cuisine. Okay. So remember just to add the field that you want to export into your CSV file. Okay. And now let's do the reverse thing. Let's say that we have actually some file, for example, here, the sales.csv file, and we want to import it into this test database. Okay. So first of all, let me open actually, or the CSV file just to show you what it contains. It contains actually some cells. Here we go. Let's open it. So it's quite a huge file. It contains 50,000 records. 
so it has a region country item type sales channel so there are a lot of fields in the header okay and as I told you it contains 50,000 records so let's try to import that CSV file into uh, MongoDB database okay so by default I am in the same directory where the file resides so the file name is sales.csv with the capital S so in order to import data into MongoDB we use the utility called Mongo import and of course we have to provide the database that we want to import which is test the collection I will just name it cells so you can name it whatever you want here I will name it cells and here you have to add the type of file that you want to import so in my case it's a CSV file so we add here option dash dash type okay and of course we have to provide the file name with option file so the file name it's cells.csv okay with capital S then as my file contains a header which contains the fields I have here to add option header header line because it has a header actually okay so with this simple command you can import your CSV file into the MongoDB database okay so in this case the database name is test so let's execute this command and see so here you can see we have successfully imported 50,000 document or records into our MongoDB test database and in the cells collection so let's verify that let's log on to the Mongo shell here we go here we go let's show the collections so remember before we have only two we have restaurants and students so now we have three collections and let's display just the first record for example for the cells just to show you we have indeed successfully imported this SV file okay and here we go you can see the first record with all its data so we have the region the country the item the sales the order the ship date unit sold and so on okay so with just two commands you can import and export data very easily so of course if you have a JSON file so the import will be pretty simple okay so for example as I told you we have exported our JSON file which called resto.json so let's try to import it but this time in another collection not the restaurants collection but let's call it for example resto collection so in order to import it it's pretty easy we use the same commands but here instead of cells let's import it to collection called resto okay we don't need this type csv because it's a json file so by default it will import a json file so all we have to provide is the option minus o for the output but in this time we don't have actually to, op to provide this option because we don't have any output file we have an input file so in this case it's uh, resto.json resto.json so with this simple command we can actually import json file into any database so here the name of the collection is resto let's execute this command and as you can see we have successfully imported 25,359 documents so let's verify that with mongo shell so if I do show collection so remember before we have three we have students restaurants and also the exported one cells but now we should have resto also collection 
so here we go you can see the resto collection let's display for example first record okay find one just to make sure that we have actually imported our data as you can see we have indeed some data into the resto collection so that was just a brief introduction how to use these two simple utilities that comes with MongoDB, MongoDB export and MongoDB import which allows us to import and export data from and into MongoDB database. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.